Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Gay from Scratch. And if you are a Unity learner, you are absolutely spoiled for choice for stuff at the beginner level. Now, at the intermediate and advanced level, people are crying out for stuff, especially when it comes to ECS and DOTS. But if you're looking to get started, my goodness, there is a ton of content out there. And today we are looking at something completely new. This is a new um, interactive micro game tutorial on creating an FPS game. And this one is entirely designed to be moddable. So then what you can do is you go in and, um, you know, add weapons to it and so on. And there's a tutorial that goes along with it that actually shows you how to create those new um, additions to it. So first off, we're going to take a look at the project itself. You can see here, I have opened it up and imported it in. It is FPS. You can go ahead and download it from the asset store. Just head into the asset store and search for a micro FPS and you will find it. For some reason, it is being quite slow. So we'll just skip that for now. But once you've got it, go on in here, scenes, and you'll notice it's broken down. There's an intro menu, a lose screen, a main scene, a secondary scene, and a win scene. The one that you're probably interested in is main scene, and this is the heart of your game. And you'll see it's actually guided. So you've got tutorials that show you how to go through, build levels, uh, edit the colors for um, the navigation meshes and so on, add enemy bots, and all the different instructions that go here in this tutorial step-by-step -step guide. First, let's just jump in and show you what you're actually working with. So this is a very simple uh, FPS game. I'll just do a quick run through it. So, you've got two enemies to destroy. I think the other one is... Ooh, no, wrong way. Where'd it go? All right. Follow the little green arrows. There's a turret here somewhere. Now, go get this health. So, it's a very simple game for the most part. Your weapon overheats. You can tell it with the visual particle feedback around it. There's not a ton going on here. And once you complete objective one, uh, it will switch over to the secondary scene. Or if you go ahead and die, um, you get the win scene. So that is kind of the idea here. You've got the intro menu, uh, pretty straightforward. It is literally just a menu on the scene. It's like so. Uh, your lose screen is very similar in scope, like so. Um, your win scene, Kind of the same thing. I can't believe they actually broke those out into different scenes. That seems a little lazy to me. But anyways, you get an idea of what you're working with here. You get a number of different prefabs. For example, those enemies we saw, the enemy turret has a prefab like this. You see all of the logic is attached to it. So enemy controllers, enemy turret scripts, world health, health script, uh, actor script, and so on. So all of these things that you are... Um, that are already basically created for you. But if you want to drill down, all of the scripts are here for you to jump into. So we head down here to the script folders. You will find all of the scripts we are working with here. And kind of in a nutshell, that's it. It's not the most advanced game in the world. But then again, that is kind of the entirely the idea behind this project is it's supposed to be uh, straightforward and easy to learn from. So that is it. That is the new uh, micro FPS tutorial. Let's go look at a couple of the details behind the scenes. They're also going to be running a... Um, game jam that goes along with this project. So we head on over first to the blog. All right, so here we are, Unity blog, Unity 3D blog. All right, here I will, of course, link this in the linked article down below. They partnered up with iLogica to create a first-person shooter video game template or micro game to help new users get started with Unity. The FPS micro game is simple, already functional game, and by following the guided tutorials that come with it, you can edit and customize the game to create your own. Um, plus, you can share online when you are done. So download it, the learning path. We'll get to the learning path in just a second. This is actually the third such example they've made. They've already made one for 2D platform and a 3D carding game that you're designed to be modded and, and added to and so on. Um, and yeah, a little bit more, kind of a run through of what we just looked at of it in action in the editor. Uh, the in-editor tutorials are available to you, but what you're probably going to end up using is the Learnity, uh, the Unity Learn stuff. We'll see it in just a second. And then as I mentioned earlier, there is also a game jam to go along with this, the new FPS micro game that we want all you to get excited about. It's actually not for some time. Um, so this is going to be, so they're talking about their prior one. It's starting on November the 24th, 2019. Uh, they are going to be giving out $75 gift cards for the Unity Gear store. Uh, you can enter by tweeting or Instagramming with the hashtag your first game jam and made with Unity. Uh, make sure that you tag in Unity to be found. Or if you're not social, if you're an anti-social fellow, we've got you covered. You can also post into the FPS creators group for a chance to win. And that's kind of it. So it's a new beginner's template and, um, 
the learning materials that go along with it. It's, and it's pretty easy to learn from it. It's pretty straightforward. Again, there are some things here that I find a little questionable, like creating three different scenes to do different things, but we'll let over that. Now, if you look at the comments here, you'll actually notice lots of new content, nothing there for the intermediate to advanced users. What about dots, ECS, and so on? That's a common theme I'm finding with Unity stuff. They've got the entry level stuff really well covered, but for the more intermediate stuff, there's not a lot out there yet. Now, I mentioned earlier on, there is a course that goes along with this asset. So in addition to the FPS micro game project that you can grab, there is a full course you can walk through. You can do the start project to, to walk through the aspects of it. Now, if you've never used Unity Learn, I will link a video down below that I did on Unity Learn. You can get an idea of what's in this learning platform. Uh, but there's bits that go along with this particular project. So we have a, uh, you know, naming your game, customizing the sky, adding a splash of color, and we get things on modding or extending the game. So power up health pack, add a new enemy robot with a hat, um, tweak the damage dealt by enemies, new loot item from destroying enemies, uh, weapon parameters, so creating new guns to go in there, and customizing projectiles. So you get an idea, you're kind of learning by extending upon what they've done. And then you get into things basically on creating your own um, level content using, in this case, pro grids, expand upon the level, creating nav meshes, and level art. So it's a nice introduction in a very structured way to a lot of the things that you would traditionally do in a more complicated game. And then we get into slightly more advanced stuff. Test, tune, and optimize. So we've got uh, hit points, uh, player properties, tune up your game's performance using the mini profiler, and sharing your game on the web. So basically build and publish it out. And that is, in essence, the FPS micro game from Unity. Uh, so it's a nice one-two combination. So again, you've got the one piece in the Unity store. Let me get you an actual link to that. All right, so just head on over to the asset store and then go ahead and search for micro FPS. There will only be, oops, micro space FPS. Their search isn't that great. Let's click here. We've got the FPS micro game, like so. And then when you want to go ahead and create one, you basically just do an add to your assets. This will create a new project. So all you have to do on your end is create a new blank project, go to the asset store inside of Unity, uh, download this guy, add to assets, and let it import over top, and you'll get everything you need to get up and started. So again, I will toss a link, though, directly to the asset store. So if you want to get this yourself, you don't have to go through this whole hassle. You can literally just come on in here. If you're logged in, add it to your assets and then, um, sure, sure. And then once you've got that, basically, bum, 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 open in Unity and you're good to go. So that is it. That is the micro FPS, uh, micro, sorry, the FPS micro game available today from Unity. I'm interested to hear what you think. Um, do you think modding games is a good way to learn about games? That's definitely the approach they're taking. I can see the appeal to it. I can also see where it may be a little less than optimal because there's a lot of magic that, that the end user just is hidden from. But it does give you the ability to kind of peel away the layers as you learn more. But I do like this one. I do like the way that they have actually gone ahead and structured things in the Unity Learn. Like I like the way they've broken up their lessons and added things in a very discreet and concrete manner. Will you be able to create your own game when you're done this? Probably not. There's going to be a lot of the magic that they hidden away from you. You're still going to have to learn on your own. But at this point in time, you're comfortable with a lot of the concepts of game development. So on the whole, I considered a win, but I'm interested in hearing what you have to say. And are you kind of on board with the community that Unity already has this entry level really covered and they got to stop making tutorials for the entry level and start focusing more on the intermediate to advanced topics and the, um, you know, things like um, dots and ECS and all that stuff. Because there seems to be a lot of people really crying out for that kind of content. And another thing that I found very interesting is a lot of the, the intermediate to advanced content on Unity Learn is locked behind their premium subscription. So I don't know that we're going to see a lot of free intermediate to advanced stuff coming out anytime soon. Or perhaps they're just waiting for the whole dots technology stack to get more mature so that what they release, you know, isn't constantly being obsoleted. But anyways, that is it. That is the new FPS micro game from the Unity Asset Store. And again, if you are interested, they are also doing this game jam. Um, and you can win a $75 gift card. All right, that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.